Hello everyone, we are honored to have a chance for presentation in the 26th MovieCon. The title of our work is From Relative Azimuth to Absolute Location, Pushing the Limits of PIR Sensor-Based Localization. This is a collaborative work by Beihang University, Huazhong University of Science and Technology, and University of Texas at Dallas. The technique of device-free localization has attracted much attention due to its advantage of not requiring the target to wear any devices. In practice, this technique has been widely utilized in many fields, such as intruder detection, smart home, and smart factory. Recently, more and more researchers start to utilize PIR sensors for device-free localization because PIR sensors can work in dark and private environments and have a low cost and low power consumption. The basic idea of traditional PIR-based localization system is simple. For example, when a person moves into area E, sensor 1 and sensor 2 will be triggered. Then, when a person moves into area D, all of these three sensors will be triggered. Therefore, we can info the person's location by which sensors are triggered. However, since this method transfers the PIR sensor's analog signal to binary information for localization, they usually require high deployment density to achieve high localization accuracy. To reduce the deployment density, a new trend is to deeply explore the analog signal of the PIR sensors. For example, some researchers propose to utilize a machine learning model to map the amplitude of a PIR sensor's analog signal to the direction or distance of a person for localization. Although this method starts a new trend for PIR-based localization, they both utilize a data-driven model and therefore require a high training cost in practical applications. To improve the practicability of the PIR-based localization system, we propose a new method called as PIRATES. PIRATES is built based on the physical character of a PIR sensor and does not require training data like the above data-driven methods. PIRATES mainly contains two steps. First, it utilizes the analog signal of a PIR sensor to estimate a person's azimuth change based on the physical model of the PIR sensor. Specifically, the azimuth change is a value that is much related to a person's location. For example, when a person moves from A to B, his azimuth change to sensor 1 is theta 1. Second, after achieving the person's azimuth changes to several PIR sensors, we build up an equation set about the person's azimuth change and locations. After solving this equation set, the person's location can be obtained. This slide illustrates our experimental setup, the PIR sensor and the Fresno lens array utilized in our system are both off the shelf. The ground truths of our experiment are collected through a UWB localization system whose average localization error is about 10 cm. In this slide, we demonstrate the localization performance of our method. In the single-person scenario, it can be seen that the average localization error of our system is about 64 cm. In this slide, we demonstrate the localization performance of our method in the multi-person scenario. It can be seen that in the two-person scenario, the average localization error of our system is about 86 cm. In the three-person scenario, the average localization of our system is about 105 cm. In conclusion, our main contribution is that we propose the first non-data-driven PIR-based method that utilizes the analog signal of PIR sensors for localization. In the future, there are still some interesting directions for further research. For example, how to improve the localization accuracy in multi-person scenarios and how to optimize the deployment schemes of the PIR sensors. Thank you for listening.